A group of Harlem neighbors spoke out today about what they believe will soon become an illegal smoke shop. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell covers Harlem and shows us what's taking shape next door to a daycare. And we're not having this. We have enough smoke shops in our community, but we will not have them in our daycare centers. A small group gathered outside this shuttered barber shop to call attention to potential plans to turn it into an illegal smoke shop alongside a beauty salon and Heaven's Tiny Tots. Tiffany Fulton spent part of the morning speaking with the property owner who claimed no knowledge of the plans. Neighbors say they've been told it would be everything from a chocolate shop to a mobile phone repair place. So far, there's been no confirmation of exactly what this location will be, and the landlord says all he he approved was a convenience store, but neighbors grew concerned over the appearance of new decor on the ceiling. Look closely and you'll see decal showing a pipe and the words high vibes, as well as a skull emblazoned with a marijuana leaf. While we were there, this man opened, then closed the gate without going inside. ¿Qué es la tienda? No sé qué tienda va a ser. Previously, the spot was a barber shop owned by Big Russ, who tells me he left for a larger location and it's now under new ownership. Heaven's Tiny Tots has been here caring for kids ages three to five since 2018. And the center's leaders fear the effect of excess smoke wafting their way. We have a wonderful partnership when it comes to parents and our school providing the best education for our kids. We are against a smoke shop opening next door to our beautiful location. But we want to stop this before it opens. That's, right. That's why we're here. Council member Yusuf Salam sent his district manager with a statement promising to take necessary measures to enforce regulation. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. And we requested to speak with the landlord on camera, but he declined. Jesse, by the way, is our community reporter covering Harlem. If you've got a story you'd like to share, you can email harlemtips at cbs.com.